Fifteen weeks after it disappeared from Westminster Abbey, where for 650 years it formed part of the throne of coronation, the Stone of Schoon, which was wrenched from here on the night of Christmas Eve, has returned to the light of day. In Arbroath Abbey, close to the grave of William the Lion, who built the abbey, the stone was deposited by three men who remain unknown. Here, 631 years ago, the Declaration of Scottish Independence was signed. And here, by appointment to receive the stone, came councillors Thornton and Gardner. We were approached, Mr. Gardner and I, to act as intermediaries uh, to um, uh, facilitate the return of the Stone of Destiny uh, to uh, the Scottish people and to their king. To that end, we acted and uh, in a passive capacity and helped, without question, uh, the people uh, who approached us. As custodian of the abbey, 63 years old James Wishart took charge of the relic till it was removed from our birth. Nearly 350 years ago, a Scottish king, James VI, was crowned at Westminster to unite the two great nations as equals. From that union came great good to mankind. And that thought surely will guide those who decide the fate of the Stone of Schoon. <laughs>